and the fragrance is the cherry on top and i want to be memorable and feel like different in the fact that i'm like leave a lasting impression like okay like she smells different when the last one was wearing victoria's secret <laughs> i got recently um asked they were like oh you're engaged and we didn't know and i was like engaged to the money like <laughs> Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube so in today's video we have a tag I think I haven't done a tag since last summer I don't remember but point is I actually really like tags it's just last year during the time they were going back to back to back to back to back I don't like to overdo things but I have been dying to do a tag for quite a while and there are a couple that I have in mind to do where I was tagged or whatever. But this is the one that I'm going to do now. And I was tagged, I believe, by Chrissy a while back. And I forgot who else tagged me. But I, I, mm. So I'm going to tag at the end. No, I'm going to tag in the beginning, actually. I was responsible this time and I wrote it down. So I'm going to tag Angela Devord. She's from like the Spanish side of like the perfume community that's actually a thing y'all like Most of the time these tags or like video ideas that are going around and stuff I've actually seen before it gets to like the the English side if you will. But anywho, so I was tagged I believe by Chrissy. It's been a while and most recently someone as well but I don't remember. So I'm going to tag Angela Devord, Amber Chantel, I'm going to tag Navadine and I'm going to tag Karina and Pika Fragrance Reviews to do this video so if you guys are interested in doing the video you guys can go ahead if you don't want to do it no hard feelings i was cured after anna no shade no tea but i tag her and she did my video like a whole i'm not gonna specify a number but it was months later i'm not hurt at all i'm not hurt but i was cured before i start though i'm gonna give a quick shout out to my beautiful beautiful ring that i got gifted from julia they always hook a girl up and yes even though i have my own jewelry i'm not selfish at all i still love their products i still like other people's stuff tell me that does not look good Oof. like that is gorgeous they always hook a girl up this is a three-piece ring and this one in specific goes like that and you put it all together Oof. Kill them. This is so pretty. So pretty. I really like this one. I got recently um, asked. They were like, oh, you're engaged. And we didn't know. And I was like, engaged to the money. Like, <laughs> that's about it. But yeah, so I have a code and I'll be linking it down below if you guys are interested in shopping from them. But they always hook a girl up. And I think it looks good with my jewelry as well. Like, the mixing of the colors. I love it. The, between the gold and the silver. Oof, this spring just to me like screams like money. I have another one from them that I that's pretty much the one that I wore for a long time. This one low key, well not low key, high key is my new favorite one. So I did want to give them a quick shout out because they were nice enough to give me this. I know this video is not sponsored, but I did want to give them a quick shout out because well they sent me something and I really like it. That is Julia jewelry, and they're always really really nice to me and really kind. So we can all eat. Is it good? looks kind of good all right <laughs> we're on in pulpit all right so i guess we're gonna get right into it instead of beating around the bush i dimmed the light a little bit because i felt like it was too bright and it was just bothering me so i hope you guys don't mind the change of lighting so the first question it says your gateway niche scent so the way that i interpreted that is the perfume well the niche perfume that introduced you to the world of niche and for me, if you guys watch me, I'm sure that you guys are already aware. And for me, it was Delina. This was the first one. And I got introduced by a clone, actually. So that's how I discovered it. And I was like, oh my god, this is beautiful. And I was obsessed with it. And I ended up getting the exclusive version of this one, which is the more creamy, slightly powdery version. But my first love will forever be the original. I love it. It's a pretty, beautiful, feminine 
just womanly scent i feel like it's the epitome of a woman very feminine super pretty it just reminds me of a woman dressed like in all white <sighs> it's a beautiful scent if you know you know this is actually one of the niche that i feel like it's the most i don't want to say crowd pleasing but i think this is a very great introductory niche perfume because i feel like a lot of people and a lot of women would like it and delina to me actually does have a sex appeal i find the exclusive version to be more of the mature version of it and the original it does to me have a very younger yes representation but it does have a sex appeal to it as well but it's not who wears it it's how you wear it with anything and everything now the next question is what is your significant other's favorite scent on you now i am single as a pringle and i'm not ready to mingle am i well maybe <laughs> anywho so i obviously don't have a significant other so i picked i guess a perfume that's correlated to people that i talked to in the past and a perfume that ironically both of them really liked and this is express love as i've said before i really don't understand but i guess i kind of understand because this is just a very easy liked perfume you smell clean you smell pretty it's musky and has that sweet fruity touch that guys like but it's crazy to me how i don't know if it's just the way that this plays on my skin but guys like this a lot and it's such a simple perfume to me this is in the same realm of like victoria's secret type of perfumes you know for whatever reason they find it appealing it has like um a very alluring sex appeal type of vibe to it not the most complex thing ever and i've said this before as well but for some reason guys like it y'all i don't i don't know I, d I don't know this one has like musk pineapple i don't know but that pineapple note does something it does something to them <laughs> i swear it's the pineapple i'm gonna blame it on the pineapple All right so the next one is what is the most hyped up fragrance in your collection now the way that i perceived this question is uh, I don't want to say hyped up in the sense that I don't like it, but hyped up in, um, I guess in a way that I got it because I heard a lot of talk about, there's still a lot of talk about it around it. It's just a hyped up perfume. Now, if you watch me, you guys know that I don't like to use that term or that word just because it has a negative connotation to it. In my opinion, if someone really likes something and they talk about it all the time, then is it really hyped up? They like it a lot. Like, doesn't mean that, you know, they're lying about it or they're hyping it up. They just really like it. They're just going to talk about something that they really like. And it might not be worth it for me, but it obviously is for them. So the word itself, it to me, has a negative connotation. But for the sake of the video, I picked one that I got because it was talked about a lot during that time. And this is Angel Muse. I actually did a whole video about this. <laughs> it was kind of like a story time. And I pretty much just said that I cannot stand this perfume. <laughs> and I think I ended up making like an apology video afterwards. Like a whole dedicated video. Like a whole dedicated apology video about Angel Muse. Like what? But essentially I got this around... I want to say it was like coldish during that time. I'm pretty sure it was. Like around this time actually. Like January, coldish kind of for... You know, for us Floridians, it's kind of cold. Y'all probably think it's like the 30s here. And it's just like 60s, low 70s. Mm, we're doing the most. If you guys hear my dog in the background, don't mind her. But I got this during that time and I hated it. This is very heavy patchouli. There was a lot of uh, descriptions of it being like Nutella and yada yada. Don't agree with that till this day. I don't agree with that. I do get the actual cocoa aspect of it and the dry down of it. But it's more of a cocoa powder to me. It's still very heavy patchouli mentioned before i'm not the biggest fan of patchouli but i found out throughout the year it's not that i hate patchouli it's more of i don't like the way patchouli is mixed with certain notes i don't like gourmand patchouli that to me is just i uh, know but i can do patchouli when it's like mixed with musk and florals or whatever you know it just adds that extra like smexiness or it makes it last longer it projects more etc whatever but mix in with like gourmand notes i can't do it to me i still stand by that this smells like a tea but it does have that cocoa powder aspect of it in the dry down but it still smells very medicinal to me um i do like it now and i actually find it really comforting and i like to wear this like to go to sleep i haven't worn it in a while actually but when i was wearing it this is when i put in like the most dent of it which is not that much i'm actually like a huge denter like when i wear my perfumes i add a huge dent but this is one that when i ended up enjoying it i was wearing a lot to go to sleep but i haven't worn it since then but that is angel muse and this is the most hyped up 
perfume in my collection. All right, so the next question that I have is the fragrance in your collection that gets the most hate. I was actually going to pick Pink Sugar, but I decided to go for my beloved Livre. Livre, Livre, whatever. I want you guys to know that I know that it's pronounced Livre, but I... I want to say libre like i know that it's not spanish i'm highly aware even though libre does mean freedom just so you know but it's really not that serious if you come to youtube to digest every single word syllable pronunciation accent that someone does on a video you got a deeper problem it's really not my pronunciation it's really not my accent you got a problem <laughs> but anywho this is the one that gets the most hate it did start to get I guess kind of more liked especially when the new one came around a lot of people like the the intense version rather than this one I can understand I know a lot of people didn't care for this one it's not their thing it's not uberly feminine I get it I understand but I still do prefer the original over the intense nothing wrong with the intense I just personally feel like the intense kind of was they basically took out what makes Livre Livre or Livre. <laughs> the, the lavender, you know, the vanilla note is more emphasized in the original, which I understand, but I have a lot of vanillas and this one in my collection is unique. So that's why I prefer the original. But y'all, I know that a lot of you guys um, also have told me that you guys hated it in the beginning. Not hated it, but didn't like it. We're not impressed. After me, you know, talking about it quite a while and me basically also giving my experience that I also didn't like it in the beginning and that I ended up loving it afterwards, you guys had the same experience as well. I think it's one that you might find like, oh, generic. It smells like the mall. It just smells like, a, like an expensive mall, like Beck says, and it does. But once you wear it, it just makes you feel... <sighs> like a boss it just makes you feel so luxe and oh i wore this one for my birthday because you know it's my birthday and i need to feel fancy pantsy but this is one that uh does get or got a lot of hate during the time that i got it and till this day it still gets a little bit of hate but whatever whatever it is what it is it's fine we all can't like the same stuff i understand <laughs> yeah this is one that has gotten descriptions of it's too generic yada 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 all right so the next question that i have here is your favorite perfume to wear to sleep currently i have been wearing feb delicios feb delicios you guys know which one don't mm, y'all know which one from dior pop the picture on screen if you want to be petty and you want to say that you don't understand what i just said <laughs> but one that i wore for a very long time to go to sleep is miss cloud this is one that i wore a lot to go to sleep i go back and forth i'm gonna go with this one because this is the one that i guess i wore the most but i go between seasons so angel muse was one of them czar rwa amethyst lalique even moshino love casablanca that's another one but out of all of them i guess you could say cloud and yeah i'm sure that everyone knows how cloud smells like airy soft feminine oh is the opening for me this is such a happy like perfume like duh no wonder i was like wearing this to go to sleep like it just uh, this is one also that gets a uh, pretty um a lot of compliments and you would never think so because it's such an airy light perfume you do have to overspray but i overspray everything i hear some people say oh stuff don't last on me and i'm like how many times do you spray and they're like four to five and like maybe that's why it doesn't last after i take a good shower put this on to go to sleep you're gonna sleep like a baby okay so the next question is the best new purchase if you saw my last video you know which one it is don't even act up you know which one it is <laughs> i'm a little too hyper for someone that just got off from work and has a good five to six maybe seven hour drive but this is bdk tuberos imperial tuberosis you know what it is you see this one right here this is the one okay so i got this one actually gifted from fab grants i'll link the video above and below i'll do it for sure i always say that i'm gonna do it and i never do it <laughs> so i got gifted a couple of goodies from them but this one for sure was my favorite 
Um, Delina was one of them, of course, but you guys know I like that one. But this is one that just surprised me. I did not think that I was going to love this the way that I love it. It gets me every single time. I would spray it in the air for you guys, but I don't want to waste it. Actually, I'm going to put it in my hand. It's not a waste if I put it in my hand, right? <laughs> it's just, I was talking to this about Amanda. If you guys don't watch her, go watch her, okay? I'm going to link her channel down below. And she hit me up after she bought this one because we were talking about it. And I told her that I'm like obsessed. Pretty much my perfume friends, they hear about this one all the time because I'm always talking about it because I am genuinely obsessed with it. I just didn't think that I was going to like it the way that I like it. To me, this is like the Delina exclusive two bros version of it. But the fact that it has this airy, very light, feminine touch about it mature in the most just effortless like young way but it's mature does that make sense no it doesn't but you'll understand eventually you will <laughs> like the amage portrayal woman that one to me smells like a stern low-key bitter <laughs> bitchy woman this one though it just smells so feminine i want to say like someone in their 30s 40s i'm not even that i'm in my 20s y'all okay i'm sure you could tell because y'all be calling me petty and immature <laughs> This is what this to me smells like. Very feminine, very pretty, but very effortless. Like, I'm not trying too hard. I'm just, I was built like this. Like, I was born this way. Are you jealous? Hello? Yes? We love you. Bye. <laughs> well, damn. Okay. Hang up on me. Like, okay. Like, I, tell me how you really feel, though. So, yeah. As I was saying, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Best way that I can describe it, super feminine. Very classy, very elegant, and it's a bubblegummy tuberose. Creamy, but it has that light, airiness about it. <sighs> Y'all, if you can't find a bottle, I think Amanda, I don't even think I said the store, y'all. But I was talking to Amanda about it. I said I really liked it. She ended up buying it. I was low-key scared because I thought we had a similar taste, but I really don't think we have a similar taste. Because she really enjoys like sweet more gourmand leaning perfumes i enjoy sweet perfumes but i enjoy like floral sweet perfumes you know what i mean so i was low-key scared that she ordered this one but she ended up really liking it and from someone that doesn't even care for florals she ended up liking it but this is one like i said it's a bubble gummy tuberose the best way that i can describe it it's like velvet vanilla but not as sharp and cheap smelling especially in the opening of velvet just watch me just just go watch my other fab grants video okay i explain it there <sighs> y'all favorite new purchase right now and i have a couple of new purchases and this one beats all of them sorry not sorry <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying sorry not sorry like who are you apologizing to no one asked you to apologize i'm a sagittarius i'm extra can you tell <laughs> the next one is the most worn of all time um for this one i don't have it here with me because i have it in my car Y'all, it came in clutch. Okay, quick story time. I guess for the past couple of months, my obsession was The Only One Intense. I mentioned that one. I love that perfume. But another one that I also wear a lot is Libre. Because it's super easy for me to wear it to work. It's just a throw it on. But it's not a throw it on and go. It's not like that easy going. It's more of like, I want to feel like a bad bitch. But I don't want to like come off too strong. You know? <laughs> Does that make sense? yeah it does so leave it or the only one intense those are like kind of like my everyday sort of perfumes uh but quick story time about the only one intense so went to a birthday party my scent of the day was flora botanica with gemma di paradiso french kiss absolutely delicious that combo if you have both of those try it thank me later but um it was so cold for us floridian people you know and everyone was cold there whatever and i was you know bundled up i'm always ready but everyone else wasn't so i had a lot of like scarves and jackets and stuff in my car because i got super cold at work so i always have like extra scarves sweaters jackets all that in my car i tell everyone oh no worries i was like i'm gonna go to my car and i'm gonna get all of you guys a scarf a jacket sweaters whatever so 
go over there i see that i have black orchid and the only one intense in the car and i was like everyone knows me in my family as a girl that smells good so i was like i gotta impress <laughs> so i'm like i have black orchid and the only one intense and i was like i'm not gonna spray black orchid because i don't know how they're gonna react to that so all in all i grabbed the only one intense and i was like <laughs> and i'm like ooh, like in the wind ooh, it's like it was just different like good different and i bring them all the scarves and the sweaters and the jackets and they're like oh my god this smells so good one of them actually said that it smelled creamy which i found crazy because i always get really interested when people that aren't really into perfumes and they use the right i don't want to say the right but i guess the right adjectives to me because that's how i describe them or that's how i perceive them and most people that aren't into perfumes they don't even know like what does she mean by creamy it's 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 uh it's a mist it's in the air <laughs> it's scented water what does she mean by creamy you know what i mean like the other day my co-worker complimented my perfume he was like yo what you got on today that's how guys talk to me forever single forever single i guess i must have like male energy because that's how they talk to me he said yo i said yo <laughs> that really must be why i'm single but anywho so he was like what do you have on today um he's like it smells really unique i had alien that day for those of you that don't think alien smells unique, I had alien that day, but I just went on a whole tangent. I'm just supposed to be answering the questions, y'all. Like it's, I, and I need to go. I need to go. So that's the worst part. I talk too much. It's kind of crazy because it's just me and a camera. That's concerning. So leave or the only one in time. The perfume that gets you the most compliments. I have a couple, but within the same sentence, I don't get complimented often so the ones that i do get complimented stick out to me and i remember the specific interaction that i had because i just don't get complimented often i think it's a florida thing and i'll stand to that it's actually not a florida thing i'm gonna say a miami thing express love is one of them i've mentioned that before this is one that guys like on me specifically guys that i've talked to express love delina or delina exclusive first kiss first kiss exclusive which are the clones those are ones that have gotten compliments. Alien is another one. La Nuit Tresor à la Folie. Gemma. Recently, Flora Botanica. That's a new one to my collection. Pink Sugar. Moschino Love. I have random ones. But one that I wear, that I know, I need to show out. I'm looking for compliments. That sounds so bad to say. But listen, don't lie to yourself. I know you wear it for yourself. I know that. Okay, I get it. But let's be real out here. I think personally for me one of the best compliments is people that tell you that you smell good okay you know you got good hygiene you know you don't got no funk you smell good that's a great compliment to me and sometimes if i want to show out not only outfit wise makeup wise hair wise nails did everything did and the fragrance is the cherry on top and i want to be memorable and feel like different in the fact that i'm like leave a lasting impression like okay like she smells different and the last one was wearing victoria's secret <laughs> i hope you guys catch my sarcasm i'm being half serious half joking and the one that i will say that gets me the most compliments as of recently let me put y'all on okay and it's very yo this stuff is potent i can smell it right now and the cup is closed okay maria show it show it show it the funny part is that like the label <laughs> got like i can't even put this too close to here because look it's right here and i can smell it that's crazy it did leak obviously as you can see the name came off and everything and you see that it's coming off so obviously i could smell it this stuff is potent y'all potent this is stuff that fills up a room in my opinion i overspray and i still overspray this one but this is one that i don't need to overspray but this is one that leaves a lasting impression super unique this is the clone of the miss dior sherry which the one with the strawberry and the popcorn notes as bex has said in her video for me this is not like what do you think like me looking at the notes at miss dior sherry i would imagine that it's you know a gourmand or whatever but no this is like a fruity very grown woman smexy and the fruits in here are like jammy but juicy at the same time i don't know how to explain it y'all but this whew, compliment getter and it's pretty freaking affordable like pretty freaking affordable i'm super shook this is one of my top 10 perfumes in my collection and this is a clone i don't care it's a top 10 what what <laughs> i love this thing this is really good i would say that this is in the same 
realm same family comparison wise to a delina not the exclusive but the original delina it has that like vibrant just quality about it it smells like money to me as well like someone just oh like i really like this one i'm just trying to put y'all on i'm just trying to put y'all on this one i believe also has patchouli but the patchouli in here i just find it like i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it, i'm gonna say it not as mexi i find it Why am I whispering? I'm alone. I didn't even mention the name, but that's Fragrenza Signorina Miele. A lot of people actually don't know about it. And I mentioned it, someone asked me if uh, they were like real or something. I was like, girl, duh. Like I would never talk about something that's not real. Like, huh? <laughs> so that's the one that gets me the most compliments. The most surprising perfume in your collection. This is gonna have to go to Lune Feline. I'm reading this question. I'm looking at the time and I'm like, yo, I really have to drive five to six hours after this video and two more that i have to film i think i'm talking a lot to hype myself up to get myself prepared <laughs> but the most surprising perfume in my collection is lune feline the reason this is the most uh surprising in my collection which i didn't know it was going to be surprising but let me explain i got a sample from el rincon perfumado i've said this before she supplied me with a bunch of samples eternally grateful Thank you girl she has a channel i'll link her channel down below and this is one of the first samples that she told me to smell i'm assuming she told me to smell it because she didn't think i was gonna like it and i ended up loving it so much that i was obsessed with this and i needed to hunt it down till i hunted down and i bought it and i posted it on my community tab you guys need to be following me because i put steals on there all the time just today, I posted the black bottle from Nina Ricci, the Rose Absolute L'Extase or whatever, the one that smells like Oud Satin Mood. Posted it today on my community tab. If you're not following me, you will not be seeing those posts. So if you don't like me, but you still want some good finds, you don't have to watch my stuff, but I guess you could take advantage of the deals that I put. <laughs> it's a win for you, I guess. Also, I was told by one of my good subby friends she told me that youtube is playing and they're unsubscribing people i was like i know that i'm gone but you guys don't have to do me like that Ugh. Ugh. the audacity but anyway so i think she didn't think i was going to like it i ended up loving it and then afterwards i threw her that's how i found out about this perfume afterwards i ended up looking at reviews and people were making it seem like it's super hard to understand or like it smells like rubber tires blah, 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 blah. this that and the third and i loved it from the opening to the end i was kind of scared not gonna lie because i was talking to someone last year she had told me that she had ordered a sample or she had a sample she also liked it as well and she got it from fragrance by i believe it is and in the bottle that she ordered she smelled the rubber tires not in the sample that she had but in the bottle that she got and i was scared for that but luckily i don't get that for me this one is not too complex it's just a rich vanilla a little bit resinous spicy medicinal herbal kind of vanilla it's not a gourmand vanilla um but i really really like it this is actually my scent of the day well you know before i applied cloud but this is what i was wearing to work and funny enough i went to ask someone a question and he was like you were in vanilla huh which is kind of interesting i just find it like funny when guys like notice stuff like that and he was like you're wearing a uh, vanilla right and i was like it is a vanilla perfume oh wow it's an oriental spicy you know like vanilla it's not too complicated to me to like but it's not your everyday vanilla either but <sighs> i don't have anything else that smells like this other than by the fireplace but by the fireplace is more smoky has that more campfirey you know smell to it and this one doesn't so yeah take that as it is but this is my most uh surprising and i didn't know that i was going to be surprised but i guess surprising in the sense that apparently it's hard to like and i'm like no it's not <laughs> and the last question is my most absolute no absolute favorite of all time like my top one this question y'all it was not that hard for me to pick i've said this before and i'll say it again love my perfumes and all but this one is just special to me this one is me this is me in a bottle and if there's one perfume that i will always want to be remembered by if i had a signature scent it would be this one I said this about delina as well i love that perfume i have multiple personalities but i think 
my personality most of the time i think is correlated to alien i love it i love it <sighs> also by the way i used to find this such a dry jasmine like a woody animalic jasmine and now to me this has gotten sweeter over time i don't understand it was after i feel like after i got alien essence absolute this one to me is just like sweeter it's the weirdest thing but like if there's one perfume that i want to be remembered by it's alien it's such a special one to me so i really like it so this is my all-time favorite and i love all the flankers i have all the flankers as a matter of fact someone just commented that there's one called the salted caramel guess who's buying it this girl right here like right now this moment actually let me buy it before it sells out 